Has there ever been a time in your life where you knew you had to say sorry, but you just couldn't do it? And you know, you kind of get that weird bittersweet feeling and you're just like, something's not right. Today, one of the main destroyers of many relationships are people not being reconciled to other people, meaning people aren't making up for what they've done wrong against others. When this happens, for one, the person who's not being reconciled to kind of feels like they haven't gotten really their end of the deal that was made here. When you hurt them, you never gave anything back to them. And a lot of things that can stem from this are jealousy, anger, hate, many different bad stuff that just comes from payments not being paid back. Well, I know it sucks to say it, but the only solution to this problem is to be completely reconciled to the other person. And that's not just saying sorry. The beautiful thing about it is it's actually acting towards that person in a reconciled way. And the way to do this is with love and trust. The first step you need to take is remember, this isn't about you. When you're paying someone back, it cannot be about what you want to get out of it. Because what you're doing is you're giving someone something back that you've taken away from them. In doing this, you also need to get rid of your fear, your pride, anything that's holding you back from being completely and utterly reconciled to that person. So as you may tell, reconciliation takes a lot of sacrifice. And sometimes sacrifice is really hard for us because we don't know what's at the other end of the hallway. This is where God comes in. This is the time where you actually really have to trust in Him. You have to trust that your actions to the other person, no matter how they respond, whether they accept your reconciliation, whether you do it the right way, you have to trust that He will follow through whatever happens. Because this is pretty big stuff we're talking about. We are restoring a relationship with love. We're not just filling in the holes, we're trying to make something new after what we've broken. So I would say step two of this process is go up to that person and just admit your mistakes. Say, look, I've done something wrong to you and I need to make that up. Ask them what you can do. This is where even more sacrifice can come in. And finally, just act on it with love. Infuse that relationship with the most love you can. And if you think you can't do any of this, if you think that's not possible, just look how you have been forgiven as a person. What has he done for you? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you can comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and wait every Monday for my new vlogs on theology. See ya.